Hi everyone, today we are going to look at how we can improve the synchronization between Philips Hue and Domotix, where we're going to add a custom script in Domotix, which will validate the status from Philips Hue and update Domotix if there's a deviation between the statuses. So what is Philips Hue? Philips Hue is a line of smart LED light bulbs and fixtures where each one communicates wirelessly with the so-called Philips Hue Bridge, which is the device here in the middle. And the Philips Hue Bridge is connected with your router, which allows you to have the option uh, with a cell phone to control your light bulbs through the Philips Hue app, uh, through the cloud. And if you look at the Modix, then the Modix has an integration with Philips Hue uh, offering uh, that you can also communicate not only with Philips Hue devices, but also with uh, different brands and manufacturers, uh, which is the beauty of Domotix. And also allows you, even with only Philips Hue devices, to use the functionalities that Philips Hue doesn't have to offer, but Domotix has. Now, if we look at the setup hardware, how is Philips Hue configured in the Motix. Well, there's an integration where you can select Philips U Bridge as a um, hardware type. Then we need to add the IP address of the Philips U Bridge. Port number is 80 and the poll interval, so the communication with the Philips U Bridge, you need to fill out. I always put it on one second, where there's direct communication with the Philips U Bridge. You can choose to add groups and add scenes that it's going to pull from uh, the U bridge. I always disable them. And at the end, what you need to do on the Philips U bridge, you need to press the synchronization button on top of the device, then click on register on bridge, where it will provide you the complete username and then press add. And then within a couple of minutes, if you go to setup and devices, we will see if we're going to do a search for you, that we will have the Philips Hue devices added to the Motix, uh, where each of the devices at the end of the line, you can just simply uh, use the add device functionality. If you add the light bulbs and sensors, then they will be added to the tab switches. And if you go to the switches tab, then at the bottom, you can actually see that I have a number of uh, light bulbs installed. Now let's have a look at the Philips Hue app because they work seamlessly together. So it's not that if you have the Modix activated that you're not able to use the Philips Hue app. They, they all work together. Um, so let's have a look. If I enable my office light bulb, then immediately we can see in the Modix that it's also turned on. The other way around, if I turn off the office light bulb from the Motix, we can also see from the um, U app that the office light bulb is being disabled. So there's a bi-directional uh, communication there. So that, that works seamlessly. Um, however, it can happen there's a, that there is a deviation between the statuses of your Philips U bridge and the Motix. Um, and if you're using scripts, then that can be uh, quite a, uh, an, an issue uh, because if you're running scripts based on the status of your devices and the devices deviate from the reality, uh, then it, the scripts won't uh, function anymore. So therefore we're gonna add a custom script in the Motix, which will um, validate the status from the U bridge with the Motix. And if there's deviation, it will update the status automatically inside the system. So what do we need to do? We need to do the following. We need to go to the IP address of the uh, U bridge, followed by slash debug, followed by slash clip.html. Then we will get this particular screen, the clip API debugger, where on the URL, we're gonna remove until we have slash API. In the message body, we need to put in this line, which will add to the description of the video. Then what we need to do is we need to press again, the synchronization button 
on the uh, Philip view bridge and then put in the post command. And then in the command response, you will get a new username. Now, don't be afraid that you're going to mess up your Philip view bridge configuration with your devices. It's not going to mess up anything. It's just going to give you a new uh, API username based on uh, the Modix updates. And it's also not the same username as we've seen before with the Philips Hue integration from the Modix. It's going to be a, a unique one uh, based on what we're uh, creating here. So what you want to do then is copy the new username. And I'm just going to look at my private notes. And we're going to enter a new browser session. And in the new browser session, we're going to do the following. Again, we're going to go to the Philips Hue bridge IP address, again, slash API. However, then followed by slash the username that you've just received from the uh, API uh, clip debugger, slash lights. And this is just a validation to see if we get retrieve the um, light bulbs information from the uh, Philips Hue bridge and as we can see here it's a very long line and we get the the output listed so there's no error message we get actual information then next step after we've done this validation we go back to domotics in domotics we're going to set up more options events And here we're going to add a new script based on DZ events. Click on all, remove all the text that you see from the script. And now again, I'm going to copy paste something I already prepared. The only thing that you need to do is change the IP address with uBridge IP and put in the username that we've created for the uh, API clip debugger with uBridge API. Then save it. And if you go to setup log, you will see that it actually created a new script in this folder structure. And now it will validate the uh, statuses between Philips Hue Bridge and Demotics every minute. If, the, is, if there's a deviation, it will update automatically. The one thing you need to make sure that the, the light bulb names are the same from the app than uh, in Demotics. So you need to make sure that, for instance, uh, in my Philips Hue app, I have light bulb office is called office. That needs to be uh, in sync with your Demotics configuration. So make sure that the names are correct. If not, and you go to set up uh, log, you will see error messages that something is wrong with your uh, names that are not in sync. Uh, and based on that, you can uh, change the device names. Now, difficulty might be that if you do the integration with uh, Philips Hue, that you will get for also for your light bulbs, um, let's say these kind of strange names, that for yourself it's going to be difficult to understand, okay, in my Philips Hue app, um, I see the name Office, but in the Motix it has this uh, strange uh, long string. So what you can do on the U app, it's just enable your light bulb and then you can see here uh, this is the one i just activated and then you simply change the name so just to point out which device is what from your philips u app and if i just disable it you can see yeah it's turned off so just turn on the light bulb on the app and you will see the light bulb from your devices pop up and then you know which one to pick and which one to uh, to rename so this is um yeah, uh, additional measure to make sure that the statuses are always in sync. 
the synchronization uh, validation from the script will be performed every minute. And it ensures if you have automation scripts running, uh, that there's no deviation, that everything is always in sync and also your scripts will then work perfectly. Well, this is the end of the uh, tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, please subscribe and see you next time.